Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to download images to create your own data set from Open Images. So what is Open Images? Well, Open Images is a data set of around 9 million varied images with rich annotations. Basically, these are free images that you can use in your own data set that are already um, annotated so that, for example, we can use them in our uh, training for YOLO V5 on Google Cola. So here we can go to open images and we can explore. Now you can see that there are subsets which has train and validation plus test and we have different types of detection, segmentation and relationships. So mainly on this channel we focus on detection and we'll get to segmentation later. So now to download these images you will need to create your own virtual environment in Anaconda in which you'll also download this github repo in there so that you can download the images and I'll show you exactly how to do that so first you want to open Anaconda prompt and so we'll want to create a environment so here I'm just gonna paste this in I'll leave all the commands in the description so Instead here, we can name it something like data set images. And you can name it whatever you want. And this will take a second. All right, and if you get to a line like this, you just press yes, or sorry, you just type in Y and then press enter, and just keep going. And it might give that again. So once you get to this couple lines to activate your environment, all you need to do is type in conda activate and we named ours dataset images, dataset images. And you'll know you're in the virtual environment when you see the name of your environment in these parentheses. All right, so next thing that we need to do is we need to create a folder in our C drive so that when we clone our repository, it ends up there. So to do that, all we need to do is go to our file explorer, C drive, and we'll right click down here, we'll press new folder, and we'll type in software. And you can name it whatever you want, but then you'll have to change some of the commands to match the name for what you name the folder. And then we can click up here and control C, just copy that. And then we'll type in CD. And now you can see we're in the folder. So next thing we want to do is we want to install Git. So we type in here, conda install Git. And this could take a second. press Y here, press enter. Alright, so once we have that, now we want to clone the repository. So we'll just copy the command, paste it in here, and yeah. So specifically, where do you get this link from if you want to copy another repository? Well, on this green button here on GitHub, you can click on the arrow, and you can see this link right here. This is what you would copy, and then you would type in git clone and then this link and that's how you would copy that repository. All right, so now it's done. And we want to install the requirements. And so basically what this is, is in this repository right here, there's gonna be a text file called requirements. And basically what this has is all the packages and dependencies that we need to install. So instead of going through them one by one, it has all of it in a text file and it'll go through it for you with this one command, which I'm gonna paste right here, press enter. All right, and so we also have to change our directory because originally we were in this folder, but the requirements.txt is in here. So we would have to change our directory. So CD, all right. So now that we're in here, we can run that command again. And 
as you can see, it's going through all the packages and dependencies, and some of them are already installed, so it'll say that requirement already satisfied. And you can see it can uninstall a couple packages. That's because it has an old version, so it's going to update it and install a new version as well. So don't worry about that part. All right. So now is where we get to start actually downloading the images for this. So pretty much, I'm going to paste the command right here. So this is how it works. There's going to be a script called main.py, and there's going to be multiple uh, variables or attributes that you need to configure. For example, we have classes. So this is basically what you want to download. So in this case, we have T. So it's going to have a bunch of boxes and, and a table with labels around probably like mugs and stuff filled with coffee or tea, something like that. It'll be in that category. And we want to make this a CSV. And this is for training. And we also have the multi-class, which we want to set to one. And then we also have limits. Basically, that's how many images we want to download. So you can set this to 1,000, 200, whatever. So in this case, we can set it to 800. And that should be good enough. And we can upload that to RoboFlow later so that we can convert it to a format. So usually what people do is they make their own script to convert to, for example, YOLO v3 format. But RoboFlow, however, makes it a lot easier in that we would just update uh, or upload the file that this would create and then everything would be converted over there. So it makes it really, really easy. And I'll make sure to link the uh, RoboFlow website in, my, in the description below. So here we can just run this. All right, so it's going to be... All right, so here we can just press Y. All right, yeah, we can just press Y again. Yeah, so we just had a missing file and we just install that and then it'll go on after this to install the images and I'll create a folder which I'll show you later and then we can upload that to RoboFlow. All right, so now it's done. We can go check out the folder. If we go here, now you're going to see a new folder called OID. If we click on it, we're going to have the CSV folder and this is what we're going to be using for the annotations and here is all the images. So we're going to have around 800 here. And so now we want to upload this to RoboFlow. And that's a very easy thing to do. So once you make an account on RoboFlow, to create a new data set, you would go down here in the home page, press that. And then here we can just name it T. And then here we can just also put T as well. Doesn't really matter too much. And now we can select a folder and make sure you select the OID folder. Upload. And now this could take a bit since we do have a lot of images. So we can press finish upload. And we also want to have some valid and then test and train images. Alright, so yeah, this, this part can take a bit since there are quite a bit of images, so it could take 10 minutes or something. Alright, so once it's done, you pretty much have a data set ready to be used for YOLO v3, 4, 5, or whatever you want pretty much. So here, if you wanted to do that, you would press Generate. And then here, press Generate. All right, and then once it generates, you can choose which format you want, and then it'll give you a link which you can use in any of the notebooks that I had given before in the previous videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to create your own data set using open images, and I'll make sure to link the commands in the description below. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.